How's the market treating you guys? Are you guys making money? Is it? Um, this fits my style. Like I said, you know, every... or maybe I'll just, uh, you know, so we'll wait for everybody to get in a little bit. I just want to see how you guys are doing this trading in this market, guys. What is the, the what is the problem that you think? Like, you know, the guys that said the market is really hard right now. What what makes it hard? I'm kind of curious as to what makes it hard. Oh, Veru, about to cover V E R U. So, what makes it hard, guys? The ones that are not doing well, I've seen like not doing well. That's correct. There are less plays, but there are still plays, guys. It depends. Like, you're looking for home run A plus plus setups. Good luck. You know, I, I I put a meme out like a skeleton waiting at the. Um, let me let me turn around. I put a meme out. <laughs> I'm gonna post it on Twitter of of a, of a skeleton, guys. Hold on, let me. Let me, uh, let me set this up. Yeah, so this is. I have two forty threes and two thirty twos. So. I'm alive, guys. I'm alive. <laughs> um, so fewer options is definitely it. Um, the thing is, if you're looking for home runs, if you're looking for A-plus setups, good luck, man. Uh, you have to be able to be realistic, okay? Not all days will be monsters. Not all setups will be A-plus-plus. Plus. You just need to have different strategies in your toolbox. So I'll tell you how it is, guys. When you start trading and you're a new trader – you it's like let's say someone teaches you just to use the hammer that's all you know you don't know how to use any other skill I mean, you don't know how to use a screwdriver or whatever so you're just waiting for a nail and so you every time a nail pops up you hit it you hit it you hit it and um that's what it is you learn to be a master of that fucking hammer but the problem is if the hammer is all you have and there are no nails what are you going to trade so during the times of slow slow down the moment that you master the hammer don't mean a master. The moment that you become proficient with the hammer, start learning to use a screwdriver. So now, you, not only can you hit the nail, now if a screw comes on, you can screw it. So build your toolbox, guys. Never just sit on one. That's called complacency, and complacency is death in life. You always be learning, guys. Always learn. So all these guys complaining. They're like, you know, I don't need to learn anything from you, Bao. Um, you don't need anything to learn from you from MIC. I already know how to trade. I mean, yeah, of course, everybody knows how to trade in their own way. But now the different market conditions come. What are you going to do? Right? You don't know what the hell you're doing. You're like, it's hard. It's hard. I just showed you, dude. I've been pretty much green every day, knock on wood. It matches my style. And so this is a sort of, you know, I have more tools. And so there's more opportunities I can spot. Uh, when when you say there's fewer choices, when there's fewer choices, that's because you're just looking for that nail. Because all you know how to do is hammer. But there's many different strategies, channel trading, scalping, swing, uh, shorting, long. There's a lot of different styles. So, you know, if you want, so this is, leads in, me into the topic we're going to talk about. So let me bring on Alex first. Hey, Alex, where are you? We're going to have a surprise for members. Here, I'm going to go live with Alex. Yo. Hey, what's up, brother? What's up, bro? How you doing? Uh, I was feeling sick this morning, <laughs> but like like we always said, man, <laughs> banking, banking money is fucking the best medicine. <laughs> For those watching, Bao woke up hungover today. Because here's the thing, guys. It's trading is very after we've been doing this for a very long time bao's been doing it 20 years i've been doing it eight years it gets kind of boring you know thank god it gets kind of boring so sometimes we need to be able to spice it up and bao shows up to work every single day works so hard helps educate the members helps do his part and sometimes he's got to go get drunk to have some fun too so the craziest part is bao trades better when he's drunk than sober because he's more careful but anyway the point is that if bao could do it drunk anyone could do it sober so the reason why we're coming on here today guys is we are announcing our next round of MAP. So MAP is something that we created called the Member Appreciation Program. So every quarter, we like to come on here and recognize and highlight members have, that have helped other members the most and reward them with some free stuff from MIC. So I'm going to be posting our most recent MAP list today and after hours. 
There's about 40 members here that we are recognizing today. And I'm going to post it now and read it off. So give me a second, guys. So these are the winners, guys. It's Diego, Pima, Jester, Trent, Marius, Jinso, Bon, Split Letter, T Dog, Tom, Dean, Trent, Dave, Bobby, Joe, Anthony, Ant, Ben, Soy Sauce, Walid, Gil, Susan, Maui Guy, Tiffany, Russell, Christine, Bastoff, Brock, Edge Trader, Octagon, Min, Starsky, Travers, Trade Engineer, Hooper X, Maui Guy, Trade Archer, JC, Mario, uh, Quick, Abdel, and John. Say that 10 times fast, guys. Also, <laughs> Also, the thing is, guys, if you are not on this list, you should not be discouraged. This does not mean that we don't appreciate you. It does not mean that we don't love you. It just means that, you know, we hit our capacity this time. And what we like to do is we don't like to have the same people on every single map. So, guys, this round of map, you guys get a special custom map T-shirt. So let me show you what that looks like because I have it on me right here. So this is the Member Appreciation Program shirt. It's one of a kind map, and we make sure that your one sec. We make sure that your MIC username is printed on the side of it. So you guys that won the map program are gonna get a one of a kind shirt with your MIC username on it. You don't have to do anything. All you gotta do is wait for a DM from our moderator Oliver Tan. And yeah, maybe the next round of map we'll do some sort of pizza party that you guys can take your family out to or whatever it may be. But this is what MIC is based on, guys. Our, our, our community is based on members helping members. And we like to highlight and showcase our members and reward them for their hard work, man. And how long? How many times have we done this map, Alex? This is not it's, a one-off thing. We've been doing this regularly. No, it's probably number 10, bro. Probably number 10. Yeah, we um. So basically, the whole thing is, you know, we appreciate our members. We, and the the way we give back is recognition. You know, this this shirt doesn't cost that much, but you know, it's it's meaningful because we thought about you. We put your name on there, and now, I mean, dude, this is recognized. And don't don't worry if you didn't get it, because you know what, like Alex says, if you got it last round, chances are you're not gonna get. It. So the guys that got this round won't get it next round. Otherwise, like, you know, and you guys are... if you think if you think that we might have missed someone, you could personally direct message me and I will run it by the moderators because the team of moderators, us all together as a team, we decipher and decide who these winners are going to be. So if you think that someone deserves it, someone earned it and we missed it, no problem. Just DM me and I will run it by the moderators to make sure, guys. But this is something that's unique to MIC. When we first launched this program. Everyone tried to copy it. They did it one time and they don't care. But instead, like us guys, we like to reward our members. So this show is Show that shirt bit... again. Show them that shirt. It's pretty cool, man. Let's uh, put it down on the ground or something and just show it. Let's Here, why not, it. Why not put it on? One sec. Yeah, it's very cool, guys. So Oliver designed this. This is a unique shirt that is not for sale. It's just, you know, we just want to thank members. And it has your name on the side. So it's really cool. All right. So this is what it looks like. The member appreciation program with your name. Your what, name would, uh, what name is that? <laughs> AT09. Oh, so I can't looks, the font looks all weird, but yeah. That's pretty cool. Are we, are we, yeah, I think it's the same shirt. That's the same shirt. Little, last time. I really like that shirt, though. Yeah. Oh, you know why I didn't recognize that name, Alex? Uh, it's reverse on, on when you take the picture. <laughs> oh, funny. yeah, it's reverse. Yeah, reverse. Yeah, yeah. Oops. <laughs> so all good, guys. But yeah, be on the lookout from a DM from Oliver Tan. And again, guys, we are going to continue to do this every single quarter. So our community is based on members helping members. So the more you help members, the more you'll be recognized and the more perks and benefits that are going to come out. And you should thank Oliver because this takes many hours to do. Yeah. Oh, my God. Can you imagine 30 people he has to create? And then 40, 40, dollars. 40. I think this round is 41 people, guys. Wow. 41 people we've recognized in our community and it's, it's something really special man because like i don't know for we treat mic as the harvard of day trading we treat it as the higher learning and the higher education of day trading and sometimes you know we get a little bit overwhelmed sometimes we get a little bit tired and you know those members are showing up every day watching videos helping making recaps learning and all together it kind of continues our motivation altogether, man because to me i was I was really looking forward to today 
we finalized the list today finally to get everyone on there and it should be really cool great guys so if you're not on this list once again don't be discouraged because maybe you were on the last list and then maybe you'll get on the next list that's all it is so and feel free to dm me with any nominations that you might have and i will personally run it by the moderators guys so this is our member appreciation program number 10 wow that's that's a lot we uh, it's been 10 already man oh, wow yeah it's been a lot man it's been a lot so Val, i think you have a good topic today on day trading hobby versus a career so everyone listen up to this correct guys so i started already talking about that um the way i became successful was the very first thing i did was i you know when i started trading i thought it was gambling i thought it was luck i thought everybody was just the reason why people make money is, is luck. Just like AMC, the meme stocks, they all got lucky. And then they all of a sudden, the crypto guys, they thought they were the best day traders. They thought they were the Goldman Sachs. They're, yeah. they're, they're going around educating people and telling people they're stupid. And so the thing is, you know, you have to distinguish, is, is this a hobby or is this a career? So yeah. if you treat it as gambling, I just talked about this to a, to a friend last night and I'm like, so they are like, do you really make money day trading? It's a scam. My, my dad lost all his money day trading. Yeah. And so I explained to them, I was like, the reason they lost it, your dad probably was up a ton, right? Yeah. And he held it forever, right? Yeah. And they came down. So I was like, that is not trading. That is gambling. Yeah. Holding something without a plan where you have no idea what's going on is it's basically gambling, you know? So if, if you want to treat it like a business, a business has a business plan. You don't just start winging it and selling products yeah. unless you make a plan. So a plan includes not only where to enter, but most importantly, where to exit for both a winner and a loser, right? Because you know what, man? You could be up a million dollars, but unless you take that money out and put it in your pocket, it's all paper gains. Okay, yeah. so look at the AMC guys. Look at the crypto guys. Look at this micro strategy, micro strategy fund. They're like upside down, you know, dude. They that four billion dollars telling everybody to put all their money into crypto, things like that. And they were up. That's why they were so confident. He even said that it goes to infinity. I would never sell. <laughs> and now they're about to be liquidated. <laughs> you know. And that's um, the thing, guys. For me, I, everyone, I, it's crazy because everyone asks me what I do for a living, right? And I'm kind of embarrassed to tell them that I'm a trader because they think, oh, this is fucking dumb ass. He's probably doing Forex. He's probably doing crypto. So it's very difficult because in this day and age, everyone thinks that they are a trader. But the truth is, guys, the truth is just like any I treated, I treated trading as a business from day one. And that's why I got to the place that I am is I never treated it as gambling. I never treated it as a hobby. The thing about trading is it is so in your advantage because you can only bet on the setups when you see that your ideal hand is out there. So imagine, like the blackjack analogy that Bao always says, if you have a shitty hand, why are you going to bet big? In day trading, you could wait for those two tens in blackjack and bet as big as possible. Obviously, sometimes the dealer gets a 21 or you guys both get a 21 and push. The point is, guys, that in trading, your betting can be skewed to bet only on the best setups only. If if I was, if I didn't have a FOMO problem, I would just show up on first red days only, go fucking all in on the first red day, win 98% of the time and call it a day. But I'm, I love trading. I'm addicted to it. So I show up every day and try to refine my process and try to get better. Because once again, guys, remember, this is a business. And as a business, you, de you determine how often or how little or how much you want to trade as a business. It, it, sometimes you trade too much, it's called over trading and you want yeah. to cut back, right? And there are times where, okay, if my business plan says only for first red day, that means I, that, that the only time I don't make money is first red day. The first red day may not come for months, three months, right? So what do you do during those three months? You need, because I, I just told a lot of my friends, you know, the problem is uh, we had a fantastic market last year and the year before. Yeah. And people made a lot of fucking money. Did they save it? No, they're all broke right now. Right? They, they either never took the money out of the market or they spent the money thinking that they can make this forever. So you see a lot of guys out there say, I'm taking a pay cut. No, dude, you didn't take a pay cut. You got a lucky year. <laughs> no, it's like, how can you assume that you're going to make the same amount every time you, you cannot. So you need to save for 
the recession. You need to save for the bad times. And so right now, so this is what I'm trying to tell you guys. You want to treat this as a hobby? If you treat it as a hobby, it's fine. It's entertainment. Do whatever you want. So to, to, to be honest, sometimes I a lot, maybe 10% of my gains for entertainment. So I, I just fuck around, okay? And But when I look back, I was like, that's kind of fucking stupid. I add up all of my entertainment money, and, and, and like it adds up significant amount of money. And the and problem so, is, Bao, the last two years, you could get away with not trading with a strategy. You could get away with closing your eyes and hitting a fucking button. But in this market, guys, in this market, it is very unforgiving for people that are gambling. It is very unforgiving. You need to have a strategy. And, you know, a lot of people were making a lot of money in the last two years, and they didn't worry about a strategy. They didn't care about strategy. And now, in the last four, five, four months, all that money in the last two years is gone, whether it be taxes or losses, whatever it may be. And the only ones left, the only ones left are those that have a strategy and have risk management. And that is what we preach every single day in MIC. Our process involves having risk management. I used to trade at a professional prop firm playing with tens of millions of dollars every single day. And I had someone called a risk manager. Someone's full-time job, his full-time job was to make sure that I manage my risk. As retail traders, we do not have the ability to have a risk manager. So we have a risk manager at the broker level, right? And that's why we have these broker automated stops, broker automated max loss, all these things to protect you. So if you find yourself making money 10, 20 days in a row and giving it back in one day, your risk is not managed. And you're that's a gambler. The that's, issue. that's not a business. That is the gambling. You're not treating it as a business. If you, if you had a business, let's say you're selling Subway sandwiches. And you had a fantastic year. Would would you gamble it all and say screw it? I'm gonna fucking not sell any sandwiches. Just 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 sleep in and and, and that, that's actually a bad example. But but the thing is like you have to treat it like a business. If you if your business needs to make money steadily, it's not a one lucky. I'm only gonna make money seasonally. If that's a seasonal business, then then that's the plan. But but those guys already have a plan. But these guys are just pure gambling. They go, okay, they're, it's seasonal. Uh, uh, AMC is going to go up. I'm going to just ride AMC. And then what happens when the season's gone? Now, yeah. for the rest of the year, you're holding uh, Santa Claus Christmas trees, and it's fucking February. <laughs> and you're stuck I with the AMC bag-holding inventory. And the thing is, guys, it, as much as it hates to say it, a recession is coming, and a recession may be already here. And because of that, that might mean that you might need to be able to adapt to a changing market, right? Our market has changed. Like in the last, in 2020, the market changed. And this year, the market has changed as well. And thank God, we're still able to make money in these bear markets. But the, the point is, or the key is that in this, in this cycle where it may be a little bit more difficult, your job isn't to say, okay, I made $10,000 last year. I'm going to make $20,000 this year. Your job is simply to show up and wait for your setups and trade them. Maybe you're going to make more. Maybe you're going to be less. But the point is that 99% of traders that started in 2020 and 2021, in my opinion, will not last until the end of the year because they do not have risk management. That's just the truth. Correct. And the, the, that's the whole thing, guys. The, the thing is, they, they think that just because you made money yesterday that you're entitled to make money today. That's not how trading works, guys. Yep. It's, it's like you, you need to take what... You, what the market gives you, they always say, say, take what the market gives you. That is correct. But more, but more importantly, take what your process gives you. These guys do not have a process. They, they're making up shit on the fucking fly. And if, if you do not have a repeatable, consistent you know, process, how can you say that you, you are entitled to make a certain amount? Because you're- And, a lot of, and I was gonna say about a lot of people use that word process as a fancy word, but they don't really explain what that is. So I wanna kind of do a very quick recap of what my process is like, right? So a process is something or a strategy that you could use every single day to repeat and make money, right? And if not, you can't make money with it, then it's to mitigate your losses. So for me, guys, this is how my process starts. My process starts the day before by sleeping early, okay? I always need to get a good amount of sleep because if not, I turn into a zombie. Coffee helps with that a lot, but still, the point is when you wake up, my job is to sleep early, then to wake up around 6 or 7 a.m. market time. I like to go look at what stocks are gapping up. After I find what stocks are gapping up, I like to look at the news. After I look at the news, I like to draw support and resistance lines. After I do that, I like to set my orders. 
And then after I set my orders, I have a plan for my exit and my stop. That over there, guys, that over there is a repeatable strategy that I could use to make money. Obviously, it goes a little bit deeper into what stocks to trade and how to narrow it down, which is kind of proprietary to MIC. But just right there, guys, that is a starter of a process that you could use to repeat every single day. Another word for process is routine. Okay? Uh, you go through the army. They put you through a routine. It's the discipline of always doing the same thing until it becomes a natural routine. And that's the process. Alex doesn't need to think about step one, step two, step three. It becomes second nature. So, so keep doing your routine and then eventually it becomes a reflex and becomes part of your daily life. Like for example, I've been waking up to trade the markets on market time. The market time is in New York City. Regardless if I live in New York or California or Asia, my body is routinely set up to wake up at a certain time. Yeah. And that's the whole thing. So don't tell us that you have a process that you know what you're doing when you're just winging it, when you're just like randomly doing what you're doing. That's, and that's the reason why people fail is because they don't have a repeatable process that's reliable. They're, they're just praying. Praying is not a good strategy. Yeah, it's true. It's true. And the thing is, a lot of people don't realize that until that's too late, man. So, I mean, so, if so you want to about being drunk, Alex, dude, I was the reason I trade well because when I'm drunk, I can barely think. I'm just naturally doing reflex, right? When you're so drunk, you, you just it's a reflex of what you're doing. And so, when when you see me trade well, that's because I'm not deviating from the process. I my brain is shut down. I cannot think. I'm just reflexively doing what I'm doing. And so sometimes, like you know, it it, it helps me because like when when you overthink you deviate from your process. Correct. Yeah. And also another thing to keep in mind, guys, I, I learned about this through Dr. Brett Steenbarger, is if you are in a trade and you are stressed in a trade, that stress trigger means that you are either in the wrong trade or you have not planned for the trade. So the next time you're trading and you enter a position and you feel stressed, take a second to think about, am I in the right trade? Am I oversized? Am I, do I have a plan? And then from there, you could determine it. Because for me, everyone always makes fun of me that I go and I get a fucking burrito when I trade. I go to the bathroom. I do this and that. It's because I'm so calm and so confident because I have a plan. I'm not stressed in trading. When I'm stressed in trading, I'm doing something wrong. When I go and get a burrito, when I eat Chinese food, it's because I'm not stressed because I have a plan. So use that. Use that. Yeah, there's a, in, in the animal kingdom, they call it fight or flight, right? So that's what keeps humans alive. You see a fucking bear, you run. The natural instinct is fear. Okay? You imagine if you're a baby, you don't know what the fuck is going on. You're not being afraid. <laughs> yeah. So so use that to your advantage because the human the human brain has a way of telling you you fucked up, dude. Get the yes. fuck out. You fucked up. Yes. That's yes. the fight or flight. Don't fight. Don't fight. <laughs> yep. Run and the thing is, there's away. people. There's people asking, "Is the market going to improve? Is the market going to change?" The truth is, guys, we didn't expect the pandemic to rebound the market like crazy. We don't expect uh, this inflation stuff. What it's going to do? The truth be told is, we had no idea. If I knew that the market was going to be fixed tomorrow, I would mortgage my house, I would sell my dad to science, and I would raise as much money as possible to put into the market. But we don't know, guys. Trading, you don't, you don't, you don't have a crystal ball to predict the future. Anyone that says they have a crystal ball, these multi, multi billionaire people that run hedge funds with hundreds of billions of dollars don't know. So for me, how the hell am I going to compete with them? All I could do is I could show up, I could trade, and when there is a catalyst to change the market environment, it will change the market environment. But until then, we show up every day. We trade around like we did on AGRI and PPSI and you know, still making pretty decent amount of money in this market when 90% of traders are losing, you know? So that's the thing, guys. The mar I don't care what the market does, to be honest. Up, down, I don't give a damn. As long as it moves, day traders take advantage of volatility. Just remember that, guys. And yeah. if you are a skilled enough day trader, it doesn't matter if the movement is up or down because we can trade both sides, okay? And so get to that point of of improving your business where you, you are just not selling a turkey sandwich. Now you're selling a pastrami sandwich, a fucking, you know, ham and Swiss. 
So now your toolbox. So imagine if you fucking own a sandwich shop. I'm getting that example again. And all you fucking sell is one sandwich. You're gonna go fucking broke. <laughs> it's the same thing. You could you could use the example of Robinhood as that as well. They started off with stocks, and now they're going into crypto. They're going into shorting. They're gonna go into futures and forex. It's because they need to adapt to the changing market environments as well, guys. They're treating it as a business, obviously. So treat your trading as a business too. Adapt. You know. Correct, guys. So, and one thing, um, being humble, in my opinion, is way underrated for trading. A lot of guys are showing off all this shit. And that's how you get killed, guys. You know, uh, even today, Alex and I always say, we don't really fucking know everything. I'm always learning every day. And I'm learning from members. Alex is learning from members. You know, there's a lot to be learned from a new trader as much as an experienced trader. Correct. Correct. And the truth is, you never know what's going to happen in the markets, guys. And a lot of people... You shouldn't let your account bleed out. A couple months ago, one of our large cap moderators, Joe, he made a video on how to hedge your positions so that you could make money when the stocks go down as well. So every single Tuesday at, I think it's 7 p.m. market time, we do a large cap and options webinar. So today there's going to be a webinar. And let me actually find the topic on today's webinar because Joe posted it earlier. Um, give me one sec, guys. So we have a large list of webinars scheduled. So... Tuesday night is large cap and options. At so today's, today's webinar is going to be how to make changes in our trading during a bear market. So it's going to be going over hedges and all these different markets and everything, guys. So we teach large caps, small caps. And if your account is bleeding out, whether you're holding large caps or whatever it may be, it might be a good idea to hedge against your positions, at least small, maybe 10, 20%, to make sure that, hey, if this thing still goes down, at least you're a little bit protected. And that is what all these big hedge funds and institutions are doing. So why can't we, us little guys, do that as well? Yeah. A hedge is nothing more than an insurance policy. We all have insurance, guys. Yep. Anything else, Alex? Um, how about for the guys who want to join? Anybody want to join MIC? I mean, um, hit up Tosh. I can keep saying whatever. You know, um, we want to help as many people as possible. I think we closed the monthly already, Alex. I don't know. Yeah, the monthly, the monthly is closed, guys. But if you guys want to join the annual, you can text Tosh two one three four five eight five nine nine seven. Also, on our website, on the top right corner, it says book a call. So if you are a non-member and you have any questions about trading and you want some free mentorship, we have specific free call slots for you guys to call in and ask your questions to. Yep. Go to the website, my investment club. Oh, one more thing. Uh, the broker. We want to do something special for, for MIC members and oh, yeah. of the broker. Yes, so I have that written down, guys. I think it's going to be June 22nd. June 22nd, we are going to be doing a live trading event for MIC members, monthly, annual, lifetime, and success trader clients only. So you guys are going to wake up and watch me and Bao create a watch list. Trade that watch this live and then do Q&A after. That's going to be on June 22nd. I'm pretty sure it's, that's the date that I wrote down here. So you guys don't have to do anything if you're an MIC. I'm going to send out the link that day. If you are a success trader client and not an MIC, feel free to message me. Feel free to DM me with some sort of proof. And then we'll get you the link as well. But we're going to start to do a little bit more uh, live trading to help you guys. But this event is going to be just for MIC and success trader clients only, guys. So marketing so account. You want, you want to talk about success trader really quickly, like 30 seconds, how they, you know, what it is and how they can join. And Sure. So, guys, we have, we have a great relationship with a broker. They are called Success Trader. They're a division of Regal Securities. And Regal Securities deals with hedge funds and institutions only. So after a couple, you know, after talking to them for a while, we were able to have them open up their services for the retail guy. So now, Bao and I are using a institution hedge fund level style broker to be able to get borrows and executions and all these things. And their commissions are already discounted for MIC members. And there's also a special route called the MIC route that can more than offset your commissions too, man. So it's, it's almost yeah. like you're trading for free if not getting paid to trade sometimes. Yep. If you need more information, uh, hit up Tosh, text him, and then um, you know he, he, he can help you out there. So... Or just send us a DM somewhere on any of our social media. Yep. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the YouTube videos. Leave a like on this video. And Bao, I think we should go back to MIC and help our members out, bro. Yep. Let's do that, guys. Thanks, guys. And congratulations to the MAP members. You guys, these are awesome. Thank you, guys. See you Later, back. Guys.